Leading Doctors is warning there is a link between rising mobile phone use and brain cancer. The telecommunications industry has hit back, adamant there's no science to back his belief. The Logie speech that was about much more than TV gold. I want to get the nation talking about brain cancer. Carrie Bickmore's Beanies for Brain Cancer hashtag generated huge support worldwide. Now a leading Australian doctor who himself fought the disease has thrown his support behind it, calling for more research into the link between cancer and mobile phone use. And the phones today are stupid, they're smartphones. They're emitting a lot more radiation than those analogue phones that they tested 20 years ago. The World Health Organisation upgraded phone radiation to the B2 category, meaning it can possibly cause cancer. Phone companies totally reject it. The issue needs to rely on the science, and the science at this uh, juncture is very, very strong. Uh, there is no link. You can say, oh, you can't prove it. In my mind it is proven, looking at the studies that are unfunded by industry. Brain cancer is the leading cause of cancer deaths among young people. That's a statistic scaring new farm residents fighting against a new phone tower. There's been two, something like 2,000 studies done within the last four years proving that these things have a, an effect similar to a microwave. The new 4G tower will replace a 3G one across the road and will be around 160 metres from a primary school. We're talking about children that are being that are growing, they're developing, their brains are developing, their skulls are developing and they're the most vulnerable of all. The residents want to point out they aren't anti-technology, all of them have mobile phones themselves. They just want the tower in a less populated area, away from kids, away from the school. A lot of the residents around here that have been here for years are all talking about moving. Jessica Millward, Nine News.